でも行くんですか男には男の生きる道ってもんがござんす人を殺めれば誰かが名乗りでなきゃ親分にご迷惑がかかりますどうしてどうしてあなたが行かなくちゃいけないんです待って<笑>This is your life, for example, did not originate in the fertile mind of Eamon Andrews. It was hatched in America by one Ralph Edwards, who gives Eamon a license to do the show in Britain, and this chap to do it in the land of my birth. Hello there. Welcome to This Is Your Life. Tonight, a very special occasion, although my surroundings may not suggest it. I'm in a dressing room at the Palais Theatre St Kilda in Melbourne, waiting to surprise a great, perhaps Australia's greatest, international star. At this moment, she is on stage taking her curtain calls before a capacity audience. Dame Joan, good evening. My name is Roger Clemson. Oh. At this moment, we are on national television. Oh, Dame Joan Sutherland, doing? this is your oh. life. Oh. As Australia's justly most famous cultural export, Dame Joan was a natural to be interviewed by the Down Under version of Eamon Andrews, Emu Andrews. <laughs> Here she is in a crowd scene with Luciano Pavarotti. <laughs> Cat. 13 years after, you remember when we were there together in Australia to have the tour with you and Ricky and all the company, what an incredible experience was for all of us, I think. And when I was with my hand exploring your diaphragm, <laughs> the first time I could learn how to support my voice. You never give up, and do I you? did learn very quick in four months of tour. And I am here now to greet you and all your friend who are around you, I want to give you a big, enormous kiss from my bottom of the heart. <laughs> I know I mean from the bottom of my heart. And a big, enormous kiss from our bottom to you, Luciano. <laughs> Candid Camera is another American format that has been taken up worldwide, but unlike This Is Your Life, it tends to bring out different characteristics in each nation. The Germans, for example, can remember what it was like to go hungry. So when the hidden camera crew rigs the soft ice cream machine to go on churning the stuff out, the locals are reluctant to let it go to waste. Good joke, yeah? <laughs> the Japanese candid camera takes a sterner line altogether, testing not so much the victim's sense of humor as his ability to withstand heart failure induced by severe shock. <laughs> or maybe that is the Japanese sense of humor.
that's a Japanese comedy program. <laughs> Sometimes a foreign country buys not just the format, but the whole show, dubbing it into the local language. The BBC has sold 40 towers all over the world, but in Spain it was short-lived. Perhaps because a funny Spanish waiter called Manuel isn't so funny in a country where everyone else in the hotel has been dubbed into Spanish too. They changed his name to Mario to make him Italian. But the running gag about a Spaniard who couldn't understand English got a bit confused when it had to be about an Italian who couldn't understand Spanish. Mario. Puede atender a la señora, tiene reservada una habitación, según dice. Escuche. Y la he pedido muy tranquila, que tenga baño y vistas al mar. Específicamente solicité que tuviera vistas al mar en mi carta. Asegúrese de que las tenga. ¿Qué? 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 ¿Sí? Sí. Sí, sí, ¿qué quiere decirme? Uh, no, 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 ¿qué, qué, qué? ¿Qué, qué? ¿Qué, qué, qué? ¿Qué, qué, qué? Sí. You couldn't understand it, I couldn't understand it, and crucially, the Spanish couldn't understand it either. Quiz show formats, however, travel anywhere and tell you a good deal about the countries they crop up in. Later, we'll be devoting a whole program to this subject, but for now, we'll take a look at what successful quiz show contestants in different countries can expect to win. Compare the prizes on offer to a single winning contestant in an American quiz show with what's on offer to all the winning contestants in a Nigerian quiz show. Your showcase begins with this new dining room set. Harvick House by Bassett. Bradford oak finish on oak veneers and solids and selected hardwoods. Trestle table and four wing back chairs plus china base and hutch furnish by Bassett. And for under all this lovely furniture, there's 80 square yards of windsong carpeting furnished by Galaxy. A deep Saxony plush carpet made of durable polyester is Galaxy's carpet of total enchantment. And your whole family will enjoy this beautiful organ. <laughs> Italian provincial walnut has exclusive entertainer features so anyone can play in five minutes with only two fingers. Furnished by Kimball. <laughs> However, when you and your family want to go out for dinner, you can do just that in your new car. <laughs> the exciting new Ford Fairmont. Trim outside, roomy inside, with room for five adults. Furnished by Ford Motor Company. The options include vinyl roof, white sidewall tires, deluxe bumper group, exterior decor group, and wire wheel covers. And for your new car, just $25 worth of gum out carburetor cleaner by Pennzoil. It helps keep your car clean. Watching installing gum out the between tune ups, tune up. Also, $25 worth of rain dance car wax. It lasts longer than any leading car waxes. Water beating proves it to pop, guarantees it. And this showcase can be yours if the price is right. Let Ngozi tell us what she has for us for the prices tonight. Ngozi. Today to make the right people happy and mind you when I say the right people I mean the people who will um, prove them themselves more brilliant than the rest so if we can start from right up here we've got some records to be taken away um, Alaji Sikira Inde Barista and Nico Prince Nico Mbaga and Chief Commander Benizo Bay so here we've got um, some torch we've got a torchlight also to be taken away We've got some novels, Alistair MacLean, Where the Eagles There, and this one is by Barbara Cartland, As the Eagles Fly. And right down here we have another one, Jaws, and I suppose this one fascinates a lot of people. And, uh, but for the two contestants we have today, we have this wall clock and uh, one novel and one record for one contestant, the contestant, whichever one chooses to take these ones. And then for the next uh, contestant, we have this um, lamp here, electric lamp. We have this electric lamp here. And one novel for the runner-up. And also we have these uh, glasses here, a set of six glasses for the um, uh, audience. And then again, once more, we show you our refrigerator, which was donated by Adebowale Electrical Industries, 5 Shikbolu Street, Ikorodu Road, 
Lagos. <laughs> well, this is about all we have for today, and I hope there are quite a lot to make people happy. I honestly think I'd rather take my chances in Lagos. At least you can hide the Barbara Cartland novel after you've read it. It's more than you can do with that beautiful organ, plus 80 square yards of polyester carpeting. <laughs> But before heading for Africa, you should be aware that although it might be blessedly devoid of such Californian vulgarity, it also places you right up against the forces of nature. sure you're a Dagonite man. Dagonite stuff from the island of death. Dagonite, for sure. Hey, ne tuez plus les moustiques avec des claques sur vos joues. Hey, des claques sur vos pieds. Des claques sur vos bras. Super Timor est là. Super Timor. Super Timor avec sa nouvelle formule. Le temps de sentir l'odeur Super Timor. Les Johnson's It, East Africa's fastest selling insect killer. More people use Johnson's It because it's a safe pyrethrum based insect killer. It kills doodoos fast. <laughs> Johnson's It, East Africa's fastest selling insecticide. It from Johnson's Wax. Come and get it. I love the implication that the guy with the Dagonite battery will leave you behind to have your car crushed by the elephant. <laughs> that sort of soft cell comic commercial is one British invention that has made it on a global scale. After the break, we'll take a look at a sample of such comic commercials selected on no more profound criterion than their capacity to surprise. Disc are proud to present the magic of Richard Clayderman. A records or cassette. Or simply pop into your nearest post office and order through Transcash at no extra charge. Our account number is FreePay1. But remember, this album is not available in the shops. When I was in Rome, I discovered this great new drink. 
And it's called... It's a tennis <laughs> joke. Uh, it's called... Uh... Okay. Yeah. Mm. So. Chinzano. Chinzano. That's cool. Chinzano. <laughs> Anyhow, I mix it with ice, a cucumber, and uh, lots of other stuff, you know, and radish. <laughs> and I christened it the nuke after. <laughs> the nuke after. Uh... You. You. <laughs> Chinzano. It's got to be the drink for. Uh... <laughs> It's got to be the drink for, uh... Today. Today, you sure? Yes. Cheers on. It's got to be the drink for the 15th of March. That was a sketch from an Australian comedy show, a sketch made to look like a real commercial. And when you consider that the real commercials for that same product, the ones that star Leonard Rossiter covering Joan Collins with descending damp, are comic sketches in themselves, it's clear that the commercial has become a miniature art form in its own right, with the real ones and the spoofs feeding off each other. See if you can spot the real from the spoof in this batch. Bien sûr, please, fait merveille pour ôter la poussière, mais ce n'est pas tout. Please, prends la poussière au piège. Every artist wants to be remembered, don't they, listeners? Oh, I know I'm going to be acclaimed in the future for my bestsellers and my award-winning gold records. But I hope future generations will venerate me as a culinary artist, a pro heart of the pavlova, a Leonardo de Lavington. Look at this scrumptious operatic cakescape. Isn't it yummy? I can gobble it all up. Guess I'm going to preserve him for posterity viewers. Guess. I freeze their little frostings off in my gorgeous new Whirlpool Tucker Box freezer. This is from my chocolate mousse. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Looks more like a kanga than a moose, doesn't he? And this is from dinner last night. I know the penny pinches amongst you will think of my new Whirlpool as just another way of saving money. But I look upon it as a priceless work of art, as Australian as Blue Poles. Honest Wayne here again. How's the old fridge? A bit worn out on its last legs, totally clapped. Throw it away. Your problems are over when you come on out to Fridge City Discounts. Yes, Fridge City, the world's biggest new and used fridge yard. And the prices, low, low prices, just like Granny used to be. And this week's <laughs> super bump buying baganza from Fridge City. 18 acres of gleaming new Taiwanese fridges that must be cleared this weekend. What would you expect to pay for this little beauty? $500? No! $10! Yes, $10! And with every purchase, you get a pair of tartan socks! Dentures for the kiddies! And a Taiwanese! You could tell the one with the sliding char lady was real. Less easy to spot, though, that Dame Edna's commercial for the Whirlpool Deep Freeze was real, too. Although you might wonder whether many Australians would want to buy a Whirlpool Deep Freeze after seeing what the housewife superstar keeps in it. <laughs> the sketch about the cleanser you can eat was from Saturday Night Live, and that very funny man was Chevy Chase. There's a school of thought which worries about the whole of television turning into one enormous supermarket. But as long as the commercials are kept far enough apart for the actual program to make an occasional appearance between them, I can't see why we should panic. People are perfectly capable of enjoying a commercial without being obliged to buy the product. To end with, here are some miniature masterpieces that I particularly admire without feeling compelled to rush out and buy an automatic garage door, chase insects with an aerosol, or for that matter, keep Japan tidy. This garage is fitted with an ordinary hand-operated door. This one is fitted with magic button, a press button device which opens and shuts the door automatically. The race will commence with the aid of this car, a driver will attempt to get into the door. <laughs> with the aid of magic button, the driver of this car will try and beat him.
magic button can be fitted to any new or existing garage door, adds to the value and security of your home, and costs less than you think. Next to it, an ordinary garage door is really a bit of a drag. <laughs> <laughs> Voici une façon radicale et économique de tuer les mouches. <laughs> 